Hello everyone. In this segment, we shall see the classification of canals used for irrigation. Canals are the artificial waterway constructed to allow the passage of boats or ships inland or to convey water for irrigation. In civil engineering, uh, the term canal refers to the artificial channel which is constructed to carry water from a river or from a tank or from a reservoir for various purposes. Canals are classified based on several criteria, based on nature of scar or supply, based on uh, the function of canal, based on the discharge and network, based on canal alignment, financial output, soil through construction, and the classification is also exists based on the lining. Now we shall see the classifications and the classes one by one. Before going to the actual classification, we'll try to understand the canal network. So somewhere here we have a reservoir and from the reservoir, uh, water is led to the main channel. And how do we control that flow is by using the head regulators. So the head regulator is, is a structure which has the regular arrangement of gates. Now from the main canal, water is allowed to move through the branch canal and from the branch canal, there comes the major distributary and minor distributary and finally, water is led to the field through something called field channel. Let us look into the classification based on a purpose. There are three types. One is irrigation canal, second one is power canal, and the third one is navigation canal. As the name itself is sufficient to explain, irrigation canals, they carry water from a, a source to agricultural fields. Whereas power canal is intended to supply water to the powerhouse, and the navigation canal is used uh, for the navigation facilities. Let us look into certain examples. Uh, lined canal and uh, uh, two unlined canals, they are uh, serving the purpose of supplying water to the irrigation fields, whereas the one which is used here is for the power just to supply water from the reservoir to the pump house or power house for the navigation purpose. Now, based on the nature of supply, there are two types of uh, canals, permanent canals and inundation canals. When it comes to permanent canals, they are fed by permanent source of supply. Inundation canals, only during the floods, when the heads are available, they are fed. In case of permanent canals, perennial, non-perennial canals are famous. And the inundation canals, they get water only during the floody conditions. Based on the functions of the canal to be served, we have feeder canals and carrier canals. Feeder canals, they only uh, present just to feed the other canal. They're just some, something like a mediator. In between, you have, for example, the minor distributary, which is, uh, 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 having a function of filling water to the field canals. Carrier canals only, you know, they supply water and they are for the direct irrigation and they act as a feeder. Based on the discharge, we have main canals, branch canals, major distributary, minor distributary, water course or field channel. Now here the water course or field channel would be the last a point on the canal, which is just adjacent to the field. Uh, it takes off water from the major to the minor to the fields actually. Whereas my, a main canal, it takes off directly from a river or a reservoir. And from the main canal, water is passed through the branch canal, from the branch canal, major distributary, minor distributary, and finally to the field through field channel. So this example is well enough to explain those things. We have a river, river, small headwork. From the headworks, water is diverted to the main canal. 
we have several arrangement of branch canal and then the major sub branch minor distributaries and finally somewhere here you will have the field canals through which water is fed to the field same is true with the the other diagram which is on the right extreme we have a river and through the diversion head work a regulated amount of water is supplied to the branch canal major minor distributary and then the field canal based on the canal alignment we have ridge or watershed canal which are on the ridge of the watershed contour canal and then we also have one more typical type of a canal which is called side slope canal so the side slope canal they are aligned at right angles to the contours that means that means across the slope contour canals across they are uh, aligned parallel to the contours and ridges which is on the extreme peaks of a watershed just to give you certain examples there are contour canals here a contour canal and a ridge canal the water which is supplied uh, to a field from the uh, uh, from the from a river and then through a contour canal and then the ridge canal okay based on the financial output uh, there could be productive canals and protective canals productive canals they yield revenue for running cost plus 6% of the capital initial investment whereas the protective they build as a relief work during the famine to provide employment to the inhabitants nearby based on the soil the classification is alluvial and non alluvial both are uh, given in the diagram usually alluvial canals they made up of alluvial soil and uh, the the scouring and deposition functions are more here whereas non alluvial canals they are through the hard soil or strata or through the disintegrated rocks based on the lining provided there could be a lined canal and unlined canal the lined canals they have a huge capacity uh, of uh, carrying discharge at high rate of velocities and uh, even the drops can be provided at regular intervals whereas the unlined canal uh, has a restrictions towards its capacity thank you